Okay, Itamex Kanatani, good morning. It is Thursday, August 16th, 2018, in the first part of the lunar cycle, Pakipists, Otsitates, be when the choke cherries ripen. And I'm back out here at Alexander Wilderness Park to effect the release of a couple of more skunks. <laughs> These skunks have been keeping me busy. Um, I didn't upload any videos yesterday, but I took a bunch of footage, of course, and I had as usual skunk runs in the morning i had three of them yesterday so one was from the rv park uh, again i've been pulling a lot of skunks out of the rv park and uh, i picked one up there yesterday morning and i picked another one up there again just this morning so this guy right here is from the rv park i also had a couple of skunks to pick up yesterday on the south side of town at, a, at some of the residences where i have traps set up and all of those yesterday I just did releases in Indian Battle Park uh, below the high level bridge. This morning skunks, like I said, the one is from the RV park. This other one here is from that same uh, set of condos where I, where I took the two raccoon kits from uh, a week or two ago. And so I had this trap set up actually to catch Mama Raccoon. She hasn't been around for at least a week. So now I've got, um, I've got her little one here, uh, or not her little one, but a little one, a little skunky that uh, yep. happened along into the trap. So I may be doing some more trapping over there for skunks, um, but right now let's let these guys go. By the way, <laughs> I got my Arizona Diamondbacks t-shirt in the mail, um, a subscriber sent to me as a gift and totally appreciated, loved it, grabbed it yesterday. Um, I also got my battle box for the month in the mail yesterday, so today we will do an unboxing. I tried to record an unboxing yesterday actually, but I was, uh, I was thwarted <laughs> by insects and phone calls and all kinds of things from getting a good video. So um, it's easy to do, let me tell you, because battle box puts out their own video right when they send in out the boxes, and it's tough not to look at those. So anyway. I'll go to another another video for that. Hello. Hello. Howdy Advance Box. Adds another 25 bucks in value. Um, so we'll, we'll try that again today. All right, buddy. You ready to get out of there? Let's get you out of there. out on your way huh there you go how about you huh you ready that you are well at least you're used to the coolies <laughs> door the other there you go <laughs> they're both off and running so yeah lots of skunk activity um, I also had some snake calls not yesterday but the night before you know after I got done making the, the video about the rattlesnakes and upper pops and being um, in so much danger right now I got a call for a rattlesnake in Binakoyim Park over here on the north side. And for those who are from Lethbridge and they're like, what's Binakoyim Park? Uh, that's the one that you call Pinaquim. <laughs> but uh, that's a Blackfoot word and it's a, it's a name of a really famous leader from the 1800s and his name was Binakoyim, not Pinaquim. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it the right way. Um, anyway, that's the second rattlesnake that I've picked up at, at uh, Binakoyim this year, and the second rattlesnake ever, actually, that I've picked up from that park. It's not a place that we associate the rattlesnakes with, but for one reason or another, this year we've had two. Oh. Then yesterday, I had 
uh, three different snake calls. One was a rattlesnake that was under somebody's deck, but inaccessible, not even, you know, you couldn't even see it. And so um, I just recommended that, that that guy keep an eye out and call me when he sees the, the snake out of there basking or what have you. Um, I also had a call on the north side for what was no doubt uh, a bull snake. Um, or no, that was the south side. That was back down at Indian Battle Park and um, there was a snake, bull snake, apparently just hunting the ground squirrel holes around the playground. And uh, one of the mothers down there got anxious about it and called me and, and told me she'd like me to come and, uh, <laughs> come and move it. I, wouldn't, I told her I'm not gonna move it far because that's like its territory down there. You're, you're in the river park. Um, but I'd get it off the playground, but never found it. So that was a dud. And then there was another dud involving a garter, a garter snake, uh, or maybe, maybe an escaped king snake at somebody's house. Um, the resident who saw it said that it was black and it had red um, bands around it. And I was thinking black with red bands, that's, you know, nothing normal to hear. So it's probably somebody's escaped exotic, but it was another case where we couldn't actually find it. Um, any case, I have a tip about some rattlesnake neonates, some newborn babies uh, at one of the rookeries from, uh, from a friend who uh, has been studying the rattlesnakes and the nature in the coolies uh, during his retirement. He's been regularly studying out there in Lower Popson Park. So now having dropped off these skunks, I'm going to shoot over there. We're going to go see if we can get an eyeball at some uh, rattlesnake babies. Well, here they are. Pile of baby snakes. Definitely more than one brood's worth right there. And from what I understand from my friend, uh, these guys would have been born around August 9th give or take a day. Well, August 8th or August 9th. So they're about a week old. I don't see mama here yet with them this morning. She might have already left them, went, went to the den. A lot of them have the, uh, the haze over the eyes. So they're still waiting to shed their first skin and once they're shed, they will uh, follow their mom for pheromone trail, we believe, back to the den.
right, it's two o'clock in the afternoon now. I was out trying to help my friend uh, continue his garlic harvest. And I wasn't out there long, maybe 40 minutes. And I've got another skunk call. And this is kind of bothering me because two o'clock in the afternoon is no time to be finding out whether there's skunks in your traps or not. People gotta wake up in the morning and check these traps and I've already given warning here to do that. You okay, buddy? Oh yeah, you got some energy in ya. Um, yeah, this skunk, maybe he was here since, you know, they're, they're pretty nocturnal, so he could have been here two o'clock last night and uh, just sitting here in this trap. So I'm sure he's not very happy. I'm sure he's not, um, I'm sure he's in some danger. At least he's in shade, but we're gonna get him out of here and get him relocated. All right. Let's do it, my friend. Calm down, everything's good from here. Everything's good from here. Hey, buddy. Yes, I'm gonna let you out right, right now. Right now. Right now. Come on out. Come on out. Go ahead, you're out, out the, we'll go out that door. At that door instead. There you go. It's funny, skunk rip running back this way, and I just saw a deer fawn in the little buck brush here just jump. We'll see if we can get a look at the deer fawn without scaring it away. It's not a newborn or anything, so it's gonna run if I get too close. Guess two deer fawn actually. They get out of here so they can bed back down. Okay, it's time to take a look at what's come inside of my battle box, Mission 42, for August 2018. I just got this in the mail yesterday, and I did try to make an unboxing video already <laughs> yesterday afternoon, but my efforts were really uh, thwarted by insects and phone calls, and I'm getting a phone call now, wouldn't you know it? Jesus Christ, Rattlesnake Hotline. Hello! Hi, Ryan. Hey. I have a Jolene on the line, and she needs to have a skunk removed. Okay, can you put her through? Sure. Yeah. Well, it, just, it went under that far corner there, but if there's a chance to make it look at it, I'm not sure. Okay, I'll give a look. Alright, just got off that skunk case and I have a rattlesnake call. A small rattlesnake at the entrance to the library at University of Lethbridge. Picked up Mahoney. <laughs> she's off to do something different. Um, she's got an appointment to make and I'm trying to fit everything in. But we'll see how that goes. Hey fellas. Doing good. Yeah, you guys haven't had too many calls here this year. Oh, no. hey, we got a little guy for you. A little, little guy or a little oh, guy? Just guy. around the corner. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's actually kind of a mature sized snake for here. I was thinking, it's newborn time, so I was, I was almost wondering, oh, I wonder if there's newborns coming out of the concrete pads right by the entrance of the library. That would be crazy. Oh, and you just ended up in the wrong spot, didn't you? Yeah. He's looking, can you see him stab a little bit of scale damage? Oh, yeah. 
No, he's not. He's not badly injured or anything, though. Belly. Yeah, you can see some sores on his belly too, hey? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 He's got a little bit of bruising. Something happened. I don't know what. But. So this snake appears to have some damage to it. Um, I don't know how recent the damage is. I didn't get the sense that it was just run over or anything like that, but I can see a little bit of scale damage on it. And when you look on the belly, I can see a little bit of bruising under the belly scales here and there. So something happened. I don't know what, and I don't know how recently, but just in case this snake has been recently traumatized, I'm gonna let it go um, right by the den site, by the sixth level. Uh, patio up here well underneath the sixth level uh, sixth floor patio of University Hall this is where one of the ULET den sites is and it's probably the one that this snake belongs to on YouTube. Look, it's Nadine Eagle Child. <laughs> Show them your belly there. Show them your bruising. I don't know if you can see any of that bruising, but she's definitely got some scale damage on top. A little bit of bruising underneath. Maybe we'll let her go out here. Hello. <laughs> an audience oh <laughs> just that one all right it's about quarter after six in the evening now and I've got a rattlesnake call this one is taking me back to that residence from yesterday where he phoned and said that the snake was under his back porch his back deck and was inaccessible um, now it's on the move so somebody's watching it and I'm on my way over there hopefully I can get there before the snake disappears Kind of watching him oh yeah herding him off the hey there dude <laughs> how old would that guy be that's an old guy it's hard to tell when they get when they start getting larger like that okay um once they hit like seven years you know one of the ones that i the one that i was telling you about tobias which i don't think this is but it's a little bit smaller than tobias but that one, I've, I found it the first time seven years ago and it was already big. Yeah. And I've seen it every year and it's just stayed the same. <laughs> oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just been big, big. <laughs> All right. I think that's the only one. Okay, so this is a this is a good size mature male prairie rattlesnake. 
unfortunately I didn't have my bucket cam with me. I was at a veterinary's office with my dog. <laughs> Got the call and had to run. Just get his picture real quick. And we'll let him go in the badger hole here. Come on out, buddy. Show him your beautiful mug. <laughs> Off he goes. Tried to throw a strike in there, but oh, it's too far away. Alas, another miss. So after dropping that last rattlesnake off, I had just enough time to go and set up another skunk trap at a north side residence and then swing back over to home, <laughs> that place, and uh, drop off Mahoney with our little princess chihuahua and her poor infected ears. She's got a little yeast infection in her ears. She's a long haired chihuahua with droopy ears and stuff and it kind of comes with the territory. But yeah, we were at the vet um, when I got that last snake call. I had to kind of rush the vets along to get off to it. Anyway, um, no rest for the wicked. I've got another snake call. So this one is bringing me to Mount Sundial Court in the Sun Ridge, uh, Sun Ridge subdivision. All right. Well, you come well equipped. <laughs> Super equipped. Where are you going? Maybe. Where are you headed? You got a plan, don't you? You're like, no, no, I know you and I don't want to go with you. <laughs> I'm just going to go back to the coolies. Just let me go back to the coolies. I'll let you. I'll, I'll help you. I'll get you there quick. Say hello to the cameras. Hello. What does he have a chip? Um, no. I have a photo database. And so I can tell by the unique, you know, variations in their back patterns oh, if I've seen them before. I gotta check it against the photo database. There's nothing I can like observe in the field for most of them. Alright, so I'm out here at Cottonwood Park to release this guy. Guy or gal, actually. I gotta kinda take a look here. See if I can get him off the burlap. Oh yeah, I think this is another male, and man, he's on a mission. He's trying to get right out of the case right now. I wish I had bucket cam going, you know, I, I actually, I set it up in there, got it all ready and everything, and just when I was putting the snake into the box, I could hear the GoPro shutting down, like maybe it's out of batteries or something like that, which really sucks, because um, it would have been a good bucket cam moment, but I'll have it going tomorrow. Sorry, folks. This is a really good-natured, uh, mature male prey rattlesnake. I mean, he's not old, old, but he's a mature snake. And he hasn't been, like, strikey. He hasn't been freaking out, not too much rattling. He's just got a mission. He's got something he's, he's wanting to do. And so far, I'm kind of getting in his way for doing that. There he is. Yeah, I know that that's that doesn't feel good on your back for me to hold you in that hook for too long, does it? Yeah. Yeah, this is a really good-natured snake. Let's see if I can get this tripod to stand up. This is the kind of snake. Whoop, there we go. I might even play with a little bit of stick work with. Oh, it's all right, it's all right, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down, mister. It's okay, calm down. Oh, he doesn't like to be touched, that's for sure. It's like, hey buddy, I'm out of here. You gonna take off? He's just trying to figure out what the heck's going on, why is he touching me? That wasn't part of the deal. You just said you'd move me back to the coolies. You didn't say you're gonna molest me at the same time. 
I'm not. I'm not. I know. I know it's your tail and everything. I'm just trying to learn a little bit more about my tools here, man. And about you. <laughs> We're just going to take off. We're just going to take off, huh? <laughs> yeah, doesn't like that human touch, that's for sure. All right, all right, I get it. I get it. Respect, respect. You know, when I heard that GoPro shut down in the box, part of me really wanted to just reach in the box and pull it out to reset it. And I, I'm, sh I'm betting that I could have done it without getting bit. But the fact is, if I did that, I'd be putting my hand within the strike distance. Um, and that's not smart, you know, for whatever reason, that's not smart. So I wasn't going to do that. That's how I keep from getting bit. And, you know, I, I, as I work with snakes, I know, notice that, you know, different ones, different snakes have different kind of personal characteristics. Um, this guy's got a really good nature all you know all he asks is don't um don't touch me <laughs> i don't want to be touched you can pick me up with your stick if you have to i'm i'm okay with that don't like it but i'm okay with that but i don't like being touched i get that Just about 9.30 in the p.m. now. Thought my day was over, got into my scalding soak, washing the skunk smell off and all that, you know? <laughs> but uh, no, nah, I'm back at it. I've got a rattlesnake call in the canyons, right off Canyon Boulevard, the main strip. Sounds like it's in somebody's yard. I don't expect a roadkill or anything, but it's uh, past sundown, should be interesting. There's more to your right. Shouldn't it be rattling at you? Over this way? Yeah. Oh, I see him. I see oh, him. You do? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Hey, buddy. You're going to come with me. I know. I know you don't want to, but you got to. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, I think it's extra. All right, this is another big mature male, much bigger than the one we had earlier. And um, not sure if I've seen this one before or what, but I'll catch a photo here real quick and drop it in the database for study over the winter, probably. I'm getting a little bit behind on uh, keeping up with each snake. As you can see, my days are like 12 hour days right now. And you know, when I, when I take these photos, I might not have time to, if I want to get a YouTube video up, might not have time to check them. But I have some ideas in store for the winter and maybe even working with some post-secondary students um, to run through some of the photographs that I haven't been able to catch up on from last year and this year. Definitely got a lot of good data here, so we'll see what happens any case I'll let this guy go out here on the uh, Cooley Rim won't be doing too many more releases out this way given the development I've got a uh, 
I got my buddy, the guy who tipped me off about the baby rattlers this morning. Um, he's going to show me around some of the sites that he knows in Lower Popson. I'm going to probably figure out a place down that way to be releasing snakes while the construction's going up here on the on the Cooley Rim. Um, but for right now, we're a little bit out of the zone, and uh, I'm, I'm a little bit away from where they've been where they've been scraping. Um, so hopefully he'll be all right. Yeah, he's pretty freaked out. Got my burlap sack here and everything. Yeah, go on your way. Whoa, whoa. He's headed. Right under my uh right under my pack now. You're gonna have to give me my pack back, buddy. I'm taking that pack. That's my gear. <laughs> you can't have that. I know it's a nice shelter and stuff, but I'm taking it. There's a bunch of other shelter for you around here. Just go a little ways. Kind of coming out this side over here now. Maybe let's call that a night. <laughs> 